In this video, let me show you how to draw the schematic of CMOS NAND gate. So first, you have to open DSCH 3.1. Now click on file, choose a foundry. So I'm going with CMOS 90 nanometer. So I want to draw the schematic of NAND gate, which is y is equal to a dot b whole bar. So two NMOSes should be connected in series and PMOSes should be connected in parallel. So NMOS should be connected in series. Next connect two PMOSes in parallel. They should be connected by means of wires now. So let me arrange them properly. So here click on add a line. These two points should be connected at one point. These two should be shorted. Next, we have to apply inputs that is A and B. So this is input A. I'll consider this transistor also as input A. So I'm connecting it to the common point. Extend this line for input B. This line I'll consider as B. Here I'll take the output which is Y. So let me give the inputs. This can be given by means of clock. Double click, change the name to A, click on OK. Same thing, double click, change name to B. Output should be taken by means of an LED. So double click and change it to Y. We have to connect VDD and ground. So let me extend some line here for VDD. So here this is VDD. This one will be ground. Now in order to know the terminals of source, drain and gate, double click. Click on show all. OK. Do it for all the transistors. So this is source, gate, drain and I am using width is 1 micrometer, length is 0 0.10 micrometer. So I am done with the CMOS schematic of NAND gate. So let me save it first. Click on file, save as. Choose the path where you want to save it. So in D drive, in part B I am saving it by the name CMOS NAND gate. Save it. Now run simulation. So this should satisfy the working of NAND gate by means of truth table. Stop the simulation. Click on timing diagram. So here if you see where inputs are 0 and 0. So 0 into 0 is 0, complement is 1. Next, 1 into 0. 1 into 0 is 0, complement is 1. Next, 0 into 1 is 0, complement 1. 1 into 1 is 1, complement is 0. So it is working according to the truth table. Now click on file, make Verilog file. So this is the switch level modeling code of CMOS NAND gate. Click on OK. So a Verilog file will be created for this particular CMOS NAND gate in the area where you have saved this particular schematic. So let me show you, go to that path. So this is a place where I have saved my schematic and here this is the .v file, CMOS not gate of, sorry, this is CMOS NAND gate dot v. Double click on it and this is a switch level modeling code for CMOS NAND gate. Now once after doing this part, we have to generate a layout for it. So open microwind. So here I am choosing the technology as CMOS 90 nanometer. Now click on compile, compile Verilog file, open the .v file which got generated, CMOS NAND gate, click on open, compile, so no errors are there, now click on back to editor. So this is the layout of CMOS NAND gate. If you want to see whether there are any DRC errors, you can click on design rule checker. So here if you observe no design rules are present, now again perform simulation. This waveform and the waveform which you got per schematic should match. 
So let me explain you for one combination. 0 into 0 is 0, complement is 1. 1 into 0 is 0, complement is 1. 0 into 1 is 0, complement is 1. And 1 into 1 is 1, complement is 0. So it is working according to the truth table. And this is the power value which is 1.729 micrometer. So this is how you have to draw the schematic and generate layout for CMOS and get.